if anybody is struggling to know their identity, I'm here to tell you that your identity is found in Christ. When you receive the gospel, the message of truth about our Lord and our Savior Jesus, his birth, death and resurrection, when you receive that message, you are already sealed with the Holy Spirit. And what does that mean? In today's video, we'll talk about this from the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13. Are you all ready? Let's get started. Hey all and welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to share with you a short message from the Bible verse from the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13. If you have your Bibles, you can open that. If you don't, that's fine. You can listen to me. So the Bible tells us the most amazing things. And I believe this is something we all need to know and cherish. The word of God from the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 says, And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. What is the message of truth? The message of truth is the gospel and the gospel simply means the good news of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, his birth, his death and his resurrection. When you receive that message of truth or the gospel, you are already sealed with the Holy Spirit. So today for anybody who is struggling um, to find their identity, they are confused where whom they belong to. I'm here to tell you that when you receive that message of truth, the gospel of Christ, when you believed in our Lord and our Savior for what he has done on the cross for us, you're already sealed with the Holy Spirit. This is why the Word of God or the Bible tells us that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit resides in us. He's our protector. He guides us. He instructs us. He comforts us. He convicts us. Like you will notice that the things you used to do before, even though they were sinful in nature and very bad, you enjoyed. But now when the Holy Spirit resides in you, you will get convicted that this thing is not from God and it's not good for you. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. In John chapter 16, verse 7, we all see that Jesus told the disciples that if I go, I will send the helper. And he said, it is better if I go because I, when I go, I will send the helper. and He will be with you. And who is that helper? Some of the signs to know that the Holy Spirit is with you. So number one, we can see that from the book of John chapter 16, verse 7, where Jesus told the disciples, it is better for you that I go because when I go, I will send the helper who will be with you. So the Holy Spirit is our helper. And once we believe and we accept the message of truth, the gospel, the gospel of our salvation, which is birth, death and resurrection of Christ. When we believe and receive that message, the Holy Spirit resides in us. He's our helper. He's our guide. So that is one of the signs of the Holy Spirit being with you. Number two is the Holy Spirit will lead you to do God's will. He will convict you and help you to do what God wants you to do. We can see that from the book of Acts chapter 8 verse 26 to 31. The power of the Holy Spirit is the source of hope. We have hope because of the power of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will guide us to do and to walk on the will of God. He will convict us whenever we are wrong. And that's why the word of God says, whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old is gone. The previous mistakes, the previous things you used to do and you used to love. Now the Holy Spirit will convict you and show you the truth. Amen. And another sign is conviction. If there is conviction in your life, it's not just your emotion and instincts. That's the work of the Holy Spirit where he helps us to live a life that is pure and holy, pleasing to God which also helps us and convicts us to turn away from our sins, right? Because there is complete change. When you're in Christ, you're a new creation. Old are gone. Old, old person is gone and the new is here. And the work of the Holy Spirit is to convict us in every step of our life, to be our helper and guide us. But the key over here is, are you willing? Is this your willingness? So sometimes when we go through troubles and sickness and suffering, and run to different people and things. But our helper, our God, our Savior is always ready to receive us. So today is the day of salvation. Rather than getting confused or going to others and other things and other people and other sources, let us invite the Holy Spirit. Let us thank the Holy Spirit to guide our steps. Amen. Are you willing to be absorbed, to be filled by the Holy Spirit? Will you let him work inside of you? And will you follow him? That is the main question. 
So today we ask Lord to help all those people who are struggling and suffering through different problems. Let your Holy Spirit guide us, Lord. You work inside of us as you always did, Lord, and help us to focus on you because our identity is found in you, in Christ alone. We thank you, Lord, and in Jesus' name we pray this. Amen. God bless you all. I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, you guys take care and stay rooted in Christ. Bye.